Hey guys, good morning. So I'm in my car right now. It's about 7.30 and I'm gonna go ahead on over to the gym. I typically always start my mornings out with some kind of workout, whether it's like core power or going to the gym and doing my own type of thing. But I hate eating a huge breakfast before I go just because I always feel so like bleh and then I won't want to work out and it'll like hurt my stomach and everything so so I just like to usually have like a banana on my way to the gym and then some nut butter this is just the RX um, peanut butter little packets I love having these packets in my car just because it's like way more convenient so I'm having that and then I'm just having my little non hydration energy tablets because these are great for like a little pre-workout energy drink and yeah since this is like a little fitness type of vlog slash like what I eat in a day I decided that I would take you guys with me to the gym and also before I head to the gym I want to share with you guys something like that I've really been into recently because like I said I do typically like head to the gym a lot and I'm usually in a rush in the mornings but in my gym bag I really like to keep this really cute little deodorant this is just the Myro Deodorant, it is basically a plant-powered deodorant made of essential oils that release throughout time, keeping you smelling super fresh, and also barley that helps keep you dry, because I know some deodorants I've used, like, I will sweat, and you can, like, see the sweat marks, and it's so disgusting, but this deodorant, like, has ingredients in it that will help prevent that, because not only is it long-lasting and, like, hard-working deodorant, but there's no toxins in it. There's 0% parabens and 0% aluminum, which is so important when it comes to deodorant. I know a lot of, like, women's products and just products in general on the market that you put in your body don't go through like a process and they're literally you're putting it on your body you want to make sure that it's safe and all their products are clinically tested for safety and efficiency so you know that what you're putting on you is like good and safe which is comforting knowing that and how it works is basically you choose the scent that you want in the color of your case so my scent is like mint and like spearmint oh my gosh and cucumber it smells so incredibly refreshing i love it and it's a subscription so every three months you'll get a new myro delivered to your door and you can also switch scents during your subscription or press pause or cancel like literally anytime you want so that's what i really like about myro i just think it's like such a sustainable company and it's super cool and it's doing good for both the world and yourself too and I feel like that should just be kind of like an everyday thing plus not to mention the packaging is like way cuter than a typical drugstore um, deodorant this one is cute so if you guys are interested in twinning with me and getting your own then you can get 50% off and get started today for just five dollars if you go visit mymyro.com slash Lauren and enter promo code Lauren at checkout then you will get started on your subscription but yeah I'm so obsessed with this and so cute and amazing and like I said it's been great to just like stick in my car and throw in my gym bag and everything and just like conveniently keep with me everywhere and I don't have to carry around like men's deodorant and feel embarrassed every time I use it but yeah anyways we're gonna go head over to the gym today I'm training my entire body and I've never done this workout so I'm very excited for it it's something new and it'll be fun so we're gonna go do that and I will see you guys when I'm at the gym We are back from my workout. That was so fun, actually. Usually, I'm bored of my workouts and like to switch it up. So that was really fun. I'm glad. I've gotten like too into the routine of this one workout that I was doing, and I was like, <laughs> bye. I'm sick of this one. And now we're gonna go head on home, and I'm gonna make breakfast. I'm excited. Breakfast is my favorite meal of the day. If you guys watch my videos, 
you know that especially if you watch my week in my life so, like I always have the most like elaborate breakfast ever just because it's my favorite So for breakfast, I'm going to be doing kind of like a my little version of avocado toast and then also a green smoothie that I've been obsessed with. First off, I take a brown rice cake. This is just a organic, lightly salted brown rice cake because you guys know if you've watched my videos that I'm gluten-free and I'm not the biggest fan of gluten-free bread. And then on top of it, obviously, I just take an egg and I actually like to poach my eggs. So I'll show you guys how I do that, of course. An entire avocado I'll put on and then also some chia seeds, tomatoes, of course, some pink Himalayan salt, and red pepper because I love that it just like adds a little bit of a spice and I'll probably end up adding some hot sauce too on top of it. And then as for my green smoothie recipe, I just like to put in a handful of spinach and then mint. You don't need too much, like a little goes a long way because it's super strong tasting. And then a scoop full of vanilla protein powder. Personally, I use whatever, but this is just like what we had in our pantry. This is the Tone It Up plant-based protein powder. My doctor told me I'm not allowed to have whey protein because my body can't digest it. So I have to use this, but personally I do like whey protein a lot better. Then I do half of an avocado, about a half a cup of um, coconut milk or almond milk. Usually I do almond milk, but we only have coconut milk at my house, so that's what I got. And then there's some chia seeds. I usually do like a spoonful of chia seeds. And then just some vanilla extract. Usually I just kind of like eyeball it. That's like a tablespoon, I think. So this is the finished breakfast. I, of course, have my little green smoothie right here. And then I just have this kind bar because it's filled with like protein and fats, which is good for after workout. And then just a hard boiled egg, so I love hard boiled eggs. And then I made my favorite avocado toast, as you guys saw. So also I added some hot sauce on it because like that's my favorite stuff ever. So I'm just gonna eat this. It's about 9.45 right now. And then I will see you guys at lunchtime. Hey guys, so it's a couple hours later and right now it is 11.15 and I just got ready for the day. Clearly I look like an actual human now. Um, and I'm gonna go run a couple of errands. I have to go to the bank, you know, gotta cash those checks, baby. And then go to Target. And I think I wanna go to Home Goods just to like see what they have for comforters because I really want a new 
comforter for my apartment next year and they always have super cute bed spreads and I'm in the mood to go like look at them. I don't know why. So I know I'm gonna be out of the house for a while and I need something to tie me over. So I'm just gonna have some of this Ellie Quark Sea Salt Caramel Yogurt. This stuff is my favorite in the entire world. You guys know if you've watched my videos before that this yogurt is like my favorite. I love it so much. And then just these Made Good Mixed Berry Granola Minis. These are super good on their own, but I think I'm just gonna like mix it in with the yogurt and have a little mini yogurt parfait. So this will probably tie me over for a couple of hours and yeah, it's a super good snack. I love it so much. But yeah, now I'm gonna go do all my fun little running around and I will see you guys when we're at home and cooking up some lunch. Oh my god, I love being an adult. Hi. Oh, hi. I just have two um, checks to cash. Literally my second home. kitchen um, and the bun is up that's when you know it's been a productive day so far right now it is currently 1 15 and I'm going to make my lunch I'm gonna make kind of like a spaghetti type of deal so let's go grab the ingredients and I'll show you guys how we make this so like I said today for lunch I'm going to be making a spaghetti this is like my favorite meal recently it's so good and super super filling and also usually it makes enough for me to have like leftovers either for dinner or lunch like the next day or something like that but for the ingredients you're only going to need a few things it's super simple um you're going to need some noodles of course these are just the eco organics edamame spaghetti noodles and they're gluten-free vegan i'm not vegan but i am gluten-free like i've said in this video if you aren't like an edamame person i wouldn't recommend these but if you do still want to try out this recipe you can totally sub out for any kind of noodles you want if you're not gluten-free you can have like regular whole wheat pasta or angel hair pasta whatever you want or the bonsai chickpea noodles i know are super good and then these are just the trader joe's sun-dried tomato chicken sausages these are my favorite stuff ever i think they're so good i like to cut them up and um, mix them in with my spaghetti and they're kind of like a little meatball in a way which I really like and then for my sauce I'm just using the Rouse homemade marinara sauce this stuff is super good it tastes so fresh it's also very clean ingredients if you guys can like read that right there so it's very good and yummy I got this from Hy-Vee and that's like the only grocery store I've really been able to find it at also you can get it at Whole Foods and then I just have some feta cheese and then of course I just have tomatoes and then lastly I just have some spinach I like to toss this in some olive oil just kind of like mix it in within the spaghetti just to add some more greens to it Look at that. That looks so dang good. This is probably one of my favorite meals ever and it, and it's just so simple and easy to make. Oh my gosh, I'm like way too excited. <laughs>
guys, so I just got back from Caribou like 20 minutes ago. It is 6.53 right now, so we're gonna make up some dinner and probably gonna have like a strawberry chicken salad with like feta on it or something just because my mom wants me to make that. We have like extra rotisserie chicken from our dinner last night, so I'm gonna make that. And, and then probably just like roast up some veggies for a little side dish action. So I'm just going to cook that up. It's gonna take like no effort because like everything's already pre-made, which is amazing because I'm pretty hungry because it's like 6.58. But I'm gonna show you guys how I chef up a little salad. So let's go. So for this salad, I just took a bunch of mixed greens. There's arugula, spinach, um, romaine lettuce, and I just kind of all threw it into a bowl. And then some feta cheese, of course, and some rotisserie chicken, and then just some cut up strawberries. And then I sliced up about like half an avocado to throw with it. And then I'm probably gonna add like some red pepper, but I didn't wanna put it into the entire salad just because I don't know if everybody wants that. And then for my dressing, I'm just going to be using this like light balsamic vinaigrette dressing. I've been super into balsamic vinegar on my salads recently. I mean, that's like the only thing my family has in our house. So I've been kind of stuck with it, but it's actually really good and I really like it. And then I have some Brussels sprouts and then asparagus from my parents and I. And yeah, that's kind of what we got rolling. Oh, and then I'm gonna top it off with some olive oil. And then, of course, pink Himalayan salt because it's literally the best. So this is the finished product. Got the asparagus, the Brussels sprouts. I kind of burnt them, so they don't look that good, but it's okay. They'll probably still be fine. And then, of course, the salads. But yeah, that's the dinner for tonight, so it's time to dive on in. that's gonna go up pretty soon. It is probably up before this video, but just been sitting here editing. Um, it's like 8.30 right now, and I got hungry for dessert. I like always crave dessert after dinner, um, but tonight I decided to go a little extra, so I was filming this video, so it's gonna be fun. I made this ice cream bowl with a cookie. This cookie is gluten free, and it's like a birthday cake cookie. My sister and I had made these the other day and they're so freaking good and I decided to pair it with some vanilla ice cream. I've literally already been eating it and it's the best combination ever. I've never had this before but you know. types of these videos i know you guys really enjoy them so hopefully you got some like recipe inspo that type of thing if you guys want to see more of these videos definitely let me know and also be sure to follow me on all my social media so you can stay up to date on my life and see what i'm up to but anyways that's all and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys <laughs>